Hello, folks. This is your host, Tammy Tucky, and you are now listening to the Tierra Talk Show. We bring you rare interviews with the makers of Disney magic. Whether they be singers, actors, Imagineers, animators, they have all made their mark on the Disney name. Be sure to check out the show notes, other episodes, contests, our social media pages from Facebook to Twitter, and more on our official website at www.thetierratalkshow.com. All guest opinions are theirs and theirs alone and do not represent the opinions of the Tierra Talk Show or the host. The Tierra Talk Show is not associated with the Disney Company. Thank you for tuning into this week's episode. And from all of us here at the Tierra Talk Show, have a hoop de doo day. I'm excited to welcome this week's Tierra Talk Show guest, animator Jerry Bryce, to the show. Welcome, Jerry. Hey, how you doing? Great to have another animator like yourself on the show, Jerry. So thanks for joining me. And, and I thought maybe we could get into the beginnings of becoming an animator. Yeah, well, how that all started is I was heavily involved in church, um, you know, like Sunday school <laughs> and these kind of things. So, you know, uh, growing up, we were always in Sunday school. So I always wanted to impress the preachers and things like this. So, you know, I, I was always drawing and entertaining my, my friends and stuff. So what I did was is I started doing like Bible, you know, church related comics and cartoons for my friends at church. And I started doing comic books and selling them at the different church organizations. And, you know, people I grew up with, uh, my parents and all the other uh, adults uh, in my community were entrepreneurs or business people. Uh, so the idea of uh, selling, making something and selling a service and owning it and working for yourself was uh, definitely uh, something that was realistic to me. And I saw that that could happen with the, you know, drawing and painting and cartooning. Look, I was just looking at your IMDb profile. and I just <laughs> love the fact that one of your first Disney projects was Oliver and Company. Why don't you talk a little bit about being involved, getting involved with that film, one of the first Disney projects you worked on? Hey, I'm glad you brought that up. You know, first of all, I didn't put stuff up on IMDb, but I'm, whoever did it, I'm glad they did because some of those credits I forgot myself. So thank you. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, I tell you, you know, thank you. But I will tell you this. Um, I agree with you. I think Oliver and Company is an underrated uh, Disney film. I'll, I'll tell you this. I'll get back to your question. That's one of my favorite Disney cartoons. Um, not only is it because I worked on it, obviously, um, you know, a little bit of ego there, but the uh, it's been like, what, you know, 20, somebody posted a scene that I worked on, you know, and, and just so your, your audience knows, um, you call me an animator, and I know I like to call myself an animator because I am an animator, but when I was working on those films, Oliver and Company at Disney, I was an in-betweener. You know, I was in the assistant animation department, so I was cleaning up, you know, uh, which means I was taking the roughs and refining them and adding, like, you know, if the animator did two key poses, I might do, like, five in-between, <laughs> you know, really precise drawings. But I like the songs. It was all 80s tunes. Um, you know, one of the kind of like semi disappointing things that 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 has happened now that we're all older. You know, I was in my early 20s when we did that. Now I'm 50. But uh, I kept a lot of that artwork and a lot of the guys, all the animators. I'm still friends with them. And some of the guys that I went to school with the Cal Arts that worked in it, it was one of their first animation gigs. Um, and, and I'm always proud to say that, hey, man, I still got that flip scene that you did from, um, you know, it does look great. I mean, you know, the, the scenery, uh, the opening scene, man, you know, since that time, I've met a lot of people from New York and, and they seem to kind of miss the grittiness of, uh, of New York. And then we have to mention back to Neverland because I am a huge fan. You were an animator in this project, too. So were you working on a specific character like Robin or Captain Hook or Peter Pan? Okay, I was the key assistant animation supervisor on the film. So when I came on the film, my, my duty was to, again, I was cleaning up rough animation. But on that particular film, I you know put together a crew and I was at the head of that department. And like Tom Will, I like, told somebody, it's kind of like quality control. So yeah, my, um, so as a character key, yeah, I was working on um, Captain Hook. Were you there the day that Robin came in to, and, and Jerry brought in some of the animators to show some of the sketches and drawings that were going into creating his character? Yeah, I'm in that picture. I'm in two of those pictures. You'll see Bruce, Bruce me, uh, Robin Williams, Robin's wife, and then you'll see Steve Moore, and then you'll see me in the background. You know, Rebecca took these pictures of me, Bruce, and, and, uh, and Steve, and she took two of them. So it's kind of like animation. You see Robin kind of looking at the picture. 
of a stack of drawings that Bruce is flipping of Robin, you know, performing as a cartoon. And then then the next one, everybody's laughing. He, he was excellent. He was funny. He was great. He was gracious. He, you know, he told us a story about his son. His son, he was saying his son was like crying out to the screen, daddy, daddy, up on screen. And Robin told us that, you know, so he was really charmed. He was a really charming person, you know, and he really connected. I remember he looked at all of us, you know, I always felt like, you know, at that time it was a small crew and all those guys, I, you know, I thought that we were like the best in the business and, you know, like a team. Deep in my soul as an artist, I, I just want to make a lasting impression on people. And, and you know that I, 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 be, I had become a teacher. And, you know, a lot of my students were in their early 20s, et cetera, a meeting, you know, young girls named Ariel. Um, they're the ones that they're the a lot of my students were, were the ones that kind of got me really re excited about some of the work I did. Like, I, you know, like I really like Oliver and Company because a lot of these people, you know, here, the fascination of, of a film has made an impression on somebody's life to a point where they want to make a a career decision or I just like this visual, you know, I'm a fan, you know, the fans drive all of this. And the Back to Neverland thing, I don't even know, I was unaware how my colleagues in the industry, because again, that's really important. I, I really care about what the guys I went to, the young ladies, young men I went to school with, the Cal Arts. the guys, I, I, I really care about what they think about what I've done. Well, I'm glad you brought up The Little Mermaid because, again, this is one of your, I think it was one of your last Disney projects, correct? Yeah, like Glenn Keane is my favorite anime because I love Disney animation as far as like a living animator because I worked with him. He's such a nice man. He was, he's, he's easy to work with. His work, the way he does his work uh, uh, compared to everybody, what I had to do to um, get it right. You know, made me grow as a as an animator. Made me grow into being an animator, but it was so well done. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, working with him was just ah. But that scene, you know, the stuff I did for for Glenn on um, on on Little Mermaid was out of. Uh, he says that, uh, like I, I heard that he said the the song that Ariel does, um, "Part of Your World." I think he said was one of his favorite scenes that he worked on, and I worked on that scene. And what have you worked on since these projects? You know, it's been a couple years, but... Well, you know, since that time, I've worked on a lot of TV shows. You know, I, I got to uh, develop and sell a lot of uh, network TV show pitches, pilots, etc. You know, something that never came on. Then, you know, I had a long career working on TV series. I started teaching, etc. Now what I'm doing is I'm doing a lot of freelance web animation. <laughs> Sometimes I do licensed stuff for, you know, cell phone games, this kind of thing. That's really exciting though, because <laughs> it's like the new, it's the new way of getting animation out there is through technology, iPhones and Androids, all different ways you can do it. Yeah, definitely. You know, cause that's the new move, you know, again, you know, keep the, the game is all digital, but also the way we do things different. It went from 2d to 3d or, or digital 2d. So, and everything is limited animation. So, you know, I've had to learn all this software right now. Um, I'm, I'm taking, actually doing really well. I'm learning a lot of coding languages, like computer programming, like, believe it or not. And, you know, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, this, this kind of thing. Because it looks like, to me, a lot of it is just how, you know, what software am I going to use and am I up to, to par or up to speed on this software, you know. Like, I'm really good with Flash, you know, Toon Boom, I'm okay. You know, After Effects, I, I, I'm okay, you know, <laughs> this kind of thing. What do you think of the latest animated films that have been released thus far? Well, you know, I'm always blown away with them. The, 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 you know, I really liked Frozen, which was a couple years ago. I'm going to see Zootopia. Tangled was my favorite Disney film. Well, to top off our interview, I have my Fab Three questions, which you probably have already heard since you listened to some of my interviews, which is so sweet of you. So we'll start with the Donald one, which is as a child, what Disney film was one of your favorites to see in the movie theater? Now, as a child, I never was allowed to go to the movie theater because we had a strictly religious household. So I didn't, you know, I started college when I was 15. So I probably saw my first movie at a movie theater when I was 16. So I couldn't really answer that question, but I can tell you my favorite Disney movie that I like to see on TV or however we saw them at that, you know, as a child was Snow White. And our goofy question, what Disney character do you think would be your best friend if you met them in person? Oh, definitely Goofy. And our Mickey question, if I asked you to name any Disney song at this very moment, what immediately comes to mind? Zippity-doo-dah. 
thank you so much for coming on the show, Jerry. I, I really appreciate your time. We'll talk some more animation soon, I hope. Cool, I'd love to promote something on yourself. See what happens. <laughs>